hi welcome to my channel um, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this 4th of July crown um, I've seen lots of flower crowns around but um, the idea hit me why not make a 4th of July themed one um, I saw these beautiful red blue and red white and blue flowers and I was like you know what let me go ahead and do it so without further ado here's how you make a 4th of July themed flower crown Okay, in order to make this crown, you'll need a few things. Flowers. These I cut from just a bouquet that I got from Michael's. And obviously, they're red, white, and blue. You'll also need some tape and some wire. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your wire and measure out the crown of your head. I already did that off camera. So, this is about the the width of a circle or the circumference of my head, excuse me. It's been a while since I've taken math. So this is about the size I want the uh, crown to be. And so I'm going to double this up a couple of times with the wire. So by doubling up, I just mean I'm just going to go around the wire about maybe two times just to really reinforce it. So that's one. And it's a little misshapen right now, but don't worry about that. We'll have plenty of time to like fix it up a little bit later. Two. I'm going to go around just another time actually. Okay, that's four. So then you're going to want to just cut right there and kind of tighten everything together. So I'm just twisting it together. So there you have it. There's your the base of your flower crown. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some of your tape Okay, so this tape is um, a floral tape. Um, you can use something else like maybe a duct tape. Um, I picked the floral tape because it's green. So now you're going to take your floral tape and you're going to wrap this floral tape around your wire crown. And you just want to cover up that wire so maybe it won't like poke you in the head. It'll be a little more comfortable to wear on the crown. Your hair won't get snagged in it. So important if you're like natural hair to like me. You definitely don't want anything getting caught on your hair, making knots, getting stuck, causing breakage. So yes, definitely wrap your wire base with floral tape. It's so worth it. Come up with a design before you start putting it on. I mean, I made it the first time without coming up with a design first. And I think it, it looks good, but I mean... I had to go through and like add more as I went so it's good to just kind of map it out first and as you can see I don't have like a ton of flowers but I'm gonna try to just intersperse them on the crown Okay, now that I have a plant, I'm going to try to tape the um, flowers on. Okay guys, I had to switch to turning on the light because I was starting to lose some sunlight here. I'm trying to think if there's any flowers in real life that looks 
quite this blue as the ones I have here. I can't think of any, but if you can, please put it in the comment section below. Let a sister know. Adding some more right there. More blue. Just make it look very full in the front. Very full. Here. So I don't have a lot of flowers, but you want to make it like really pow where you do have flowers. So that's why I'm kind of like grouping them together. I know some people might be like, why don't you spread it out? But this is just how the look that I'm going for. You'll see when I'm done with it. I think it looks, it's going to look very nice. So there you have it. Finished product. As I said before, I just focused on the front of the crown. And you have like a nice full bouquet here. I love how you have the green on the ends and a little bit of green peeking out in the middle and you have so much of the red and the blue with little pops of white I really like that and they're just kinda peeking through so this is gonna look excellent on so there you have it I hope you like that tutorial this is the finished product right here um, like I said in the tutorial, I love just focusing all the flowers in the front. Um, I just think it's cooler that way, and I really liked making it myself. Um, I liked that you can make the crown as big or as small as you want. I mean, this one is like really for when I'm like froed out. Because you know when you go to the store and you look at the hair accessories, they're so cute, but they're all so tiny. They're not made for like women with big curly froze. So when you make this yourself, you can make it as big or as small as you want. You can totally focus the flowers in the front so you don't have to buy as many blooms or bouquets from Michaels because those can be kind of expensive. So if you decide to make this flower crown, please share your pictures with me on Instagram. I'll put a little hashtag in this video so that you can use it and I can see the flower crowns if you decide to make it. Um, thanks for watching, like, thumbs ups, and subscribe. See you next time.